Today has been a great day. Today I found $600 underneath a keyboard that I haven't used in months and found that money that I've looked for for about six months, six to eight months. I found like, it's great. Now I have extra money laying around that I can go spend on stupid shit. Uh, two, I'm eating healthy today. I've had nothing but turkey and eggs and I'm about to go buy a gallon of water. Uh, and three, I'm completely redoing my room to create a safe space of creativity for myself, a place where I can just create, a place where I'm comfortable coming in every day and the creative juices are f just going. I want a place that makes me challenged to create, a place where I have nothing, like, I want a place where I have no buts, a place where I don't have anybody telling me that I can't create, a place that en encourages my creativity. I want this space to be a complete and utter safe space of creativity. A place I can come or my friends can come and we can do photo shoots on a background here. I'll just move the desk this way or we can come and we can put uh, a white thing on the table and we can shoot from above on an aerial shot and make some like writing, textured writing stuff. Uh, a place where I can just come and sit here and talk to you guys and not feel like I'm threatened by anything. Not that that probably makes any sense to you guys, but just a place where I can come, be creative and have my editing and my little safe YouTube space essentially. Um, and that's what I want to turn this into. So I sleep there, I edit there, and I create here. You know, if that makes, I want it to be like a feng shui of creativity. Sleep, create, sleep, create. This is, this is something I've wanted for years. Something I've just wanted to put together, but I just never did it. And I finally today at like nine in the morning was like, I'm just gonna throw everything on the floor and move everything. And I did it. And I'm, so, these two lights here are gonna be used to light the back screen that I'm gonna go buy today from Sammy's Cameras. I'm gonna probably do a color so I can have a green screen or something different than white because I have the white wall right here. Um, and then I have the tripod piece here so I can put it like this and I can have two or more people sit right there on the table and we can make like reaction videos or anything. But instead of having the cube perfectly lit, we're gonna have this table perfectly lit, which I'm really excited about. This monitor here, this monitor is gonna be used for social media. That one's gonna be used for editing brand new Wi-Fi that uploads videos in about a minute, even no matter how many gigabytes, love that. I have Ableton and FL Studio, so I'm probably gonna start remaking beats again so I can have my own beats in my own vlogs. All of this, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with. I love this, I love that, I love my camera stuff there. Probably gonna throw a lot of this away, and I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, cl close your eyes, close your eyes. Ready for this? Look at this. Wow, you look like the president. Don't I? I wanted a little creative space. Okay, so now, ooh. Dollar dollar bills now. I don't know about any of you guys, but my favorite place to come when I'm feeling stressed or when I have a lot of work to do and I know I just have to sit down and do it, but I need like a mental, like if I need to clear my mental, the, my favorite place is my roof. And I don't know if any of you guys else have that like luxury to do that, but whether you're in like Los Angeles on top of a high rise, which I plan to do a lot this year, or whether you're just on your roof like I am, just enjoying your backyard views, I highly recommend sitting on your roof because it's the most amazing feeling to see just the, the beauty that is around you. Don't ever think us YouTubers don't do anything for you guys besides just talking to a camera. I had to climb the roof to get a time lapse here. I'm gonna move it over to the point over here and get a time lapse over there. I mean, my roof is like the perfect location, especially when you have a small zoom lens because you have Catalina here, you have downtown Los Angeles here, you have the mountains here, you have just beautiful skylines everywhere in all directions. And that's one of the things I love about California. Like, I don't think you can really Really get that anywhere else like plus we have palm trees and you guys know if you follow this vlog for any amount of time I am, am absolutely stricken with palm trees I mean sometimes even I like seeing these mountains every day I'm just taken back like sometimes you just look at these mountains and it's like a mountain but sometimes you look at it and it's like the most pretty thing you've ever seen it's like weird how that works I know but Hey, oh, you look cute today. You yawning? Oh, you tired, huh? Have you ever realized everybody has a puppy voice? Like, especially when I talk to dogs, even my like eight-year-old golden retriever, when I talk to him, my voice goes from like right here to like, hey guys, hey, how you doing? What's up, little guys? And I know they hear me because they're looking. <laughs> sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. This piece is supposed to be on both sides so the ladder doesn't open up all the way, but I don't know what happened and I didn't realize until I was coming down that this broke off. I may have just had the best chest workout in my entire life, so to celebrate, to make it a little worthwhile for myself, I came down to Sammy's Cameras, which I'm here all the time, and I'm going to get a backing for my GoPro, a green screen, 
maybe a white screen, but I'm not spending any money because I have a gift card, remember? We, we tried doing this like two weeks ago and they totally like shut me down because they didn't have it. So I'm gonna special order it um, to get it sent to me in like two weeks and then hopefully I can make like a cool adventure video sometime this month for you guys with that backing. Gray, charcoal, blue. I think this one's the best. Green, 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 green. Okay, Alyssa, you have to carry this. Whoa! Alyssa, you have to carry this. Okay, good. Don't, don't hit anything. Come on. There we go. This way. Back it up. Super long. Back it up. Let's go. Don't hit anything. What is this? That way. One of the perks of having a minivan is the nine foot one. We bought that. We were gonna get the the five foot one, but then I realized it would only be shoulder like length, and I want to have two people for reaction videos with the green screen. So the nine foot one fits perfectly in a minivan, one point minivan, and zero point any other car that I have. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Here we go. Which one should I do? That one or I'm gonna go number twenty. And then we'll do. Yesterday I was talking about how much I hate these things, so I decided to face my fears, come back by another one, test my luck, expect expect a uh, comprehensive review on the uh, if I win or not. Oh, oh, I don't know if that zoom right there, zoom right there. Oh, six bucks. Round two. This is this is my luck. I'm gonna win a big one on this one, and I'm gonna win a big little one on this one. I, I feel it. His ass. I lost, but I won a ticket. So I'm two for two almost, like two for three, but that's pretty good for these odds, so I'm gonna get one more. No matter, no matter how much how much I like winning, I still hate these things. They fucking suck, I lost again. So I'm two for four. That's pretty good odds though. I, I beat the odds, two for four is not bad, but I should have just cashed out and got, made my $7 instead of just, I, I gotta learn to, to, to stop being a bitch. Whoa, was that a burp? What you trying to do? Oh, but now you gotta pick all that up. I, I, I changed back. If you guys didn't pick, you probably picked that up. I changed back, it was just easier. The idea behind my studio here is really simple. It's a pretty self-explanatory process. These two lights right here are gonna light me on this wall here, um, allowing me to have more of a studio vibe to my videos. Um, the only issue with that is that this window here kind of gets in the way and makes it less aesthetically pleasing. So I went out and I bought this nine foot green paper that you guys just saw. And basically what I wanna do with that is I wanna set it up with a studio rig, which I'm gonna put behind here. That way it blocks off this window. It, it allows me to have the white wall if I need it and then I can put the paper down and I have a green screen. Um, and with that green screen, I can do a bunch of fun things for the videos. I can do a bunch of reacting videos on the green screen. <clears throat> And I can do videos like with my mom or Tori or Chris or Chloe or whoever I want to put in my videos or any of my friends that are filming. It makes it really seamless and really easy just to transition in. And then the lights also serve a purpose as look, now I can add darkness into my videos or I can add more light onto myself. So this is nine feet right here. Sorry. Now that right there is nine feet as well. But the problem is the piece that goes here and connects that piece, I can't find. So now we have this piece, but we don't have the piece that connects the two on top. So I think I have to go buy that piece because this piece is too big for the piece over here, right there. Hello. I'm really bad at vlogging. I can't, I don't know if I could ever do this. Because, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because the background is not working, one of the things I've wanted to do for a really long time, and we'll do this in the meantime until I can figure out how to fix that piece so that I can put this, all this together. In the meantime, all you're gonna need is a pair of scissors, some Supreme boxers, and a little bit of ingenuity. And you should be on your way to following this project step by step. And by the way, you can use any pair of boxers that has like a waistband, but if it's not Supreme, then there's really no point in doing this unless it's another high fashion designer brand, like Gucci, uh, you, I mean, you could use anything. I just, I'm just, I don't want you to go around with a Hanes thing because that would be really embarrassing. First way of going about this is we're gonna take, so this is the waistband here. What you wanna do is you wanna take your pair of scissors, preferably some that are sharp, and you wanna have a longer scissor than handle ratio. 
um, and you're just going to cut right underneath the red. Separate the red from the white. It's not that hard, or if you're on the other side, separate where the stitching is. You want to separate the band from the, from the, look what I did here. You want to separate the band from the underwear. <laughs> Ames boxer. <laughs> These things are huge without the band. There's like, you can literally fit your head through these without. These don't look any designer. That's the crazy thing about designer for me is that without the name brand piece, they really don't look like much. Like it's the worst. This is probably the lowest low Hanes quality stuff you can buy. Um, but because it has this on it, you're spending like 40 bucks for them like I did. Once, once you got this, once you got this nice little piece here, you're going to then take these, you can throw them away, I don't care what you do with them. You're gonna take this piece, and then you wanna trim up the bottoms because you're gonna have little leftovers like right there, and you just wanna trim around it, make sure it's as nice as possible, and once that's finished. Now that we have, this is like a clean, it looks good, it looks like a, a band, it looks like an underwear band, but even so, now you're gonna find the piece that was sewed together already, which is right there see that and what we're gonna do is slightly and lightly just cut right through it so now we have something like this that's pretty simple it's it's not hard it's not rocket science you can do this I guarantee you can do this at home look I don't know why I'm treating you guys like children you guys already know how to do this I'm just kind of you're gonna put it around your head now you can do two things here you have two options you have two one you can tie it so you can put it around your head and tie it like this. There you go, that looks sick, right? Oh, boom, boom, it's a tie, it looks dope. Um, but you can also do the second option, which is get it professionally sewn or amateurishly sewn. I recommend doing the former uh, as I'm gonna have my grandmother sew this for me because I want it to actually be a real headband. So that will be later on today that I'm gonna go get that done. But for now, the tying looks great, it works. I like it, just like that. Now, it, the crazy thing is as soon as I put this on, it was like, I instantly got some phone calls and I was like, hello? Oh, <laughs> hello, hello. You can do that too. All you gotta do is take your boxers that you bought for 40 bucks, you cut them, you put them on your head, and you're automatically gonna have money just flying out your butt, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy.